All right, Project fans, it is day 10 of torture. Torture? Torture. Torture. We have been trying to get wallpaper off the walls of one of our flip houses now for just at least 10 days. Realistically, <laughs> two and a half days. So we did what a lot of you out there might be wanting to do. We went out and bought the cheapest steamer there is, the Wagner 725 Power Steamer, and we're going to try it out. Do you know what the 725 stands for? No. 725 powers this has. That's a lot of powers. The whole house is this. And oh, no, 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 and underneath this is more this, and underneath that is even more this. You forgot a step. So underneath this is this, but it's painted. Oh, yeah. So you can't actually soak the wallpaper. It's a lot. It's a lot. There is probably not a situation out there that's got more BS wallpaper paint, wallpaper paint, wallpaper paint. Is that enough wallpaper paint? This house was built in the 30s, and whenever wallpaper was invented is when they started putting it on this yeah. house. The history of wallpaper begins in the 17th century. Let's check it out. As we get started testing out the steamer, let's go over some of the features and claims for the Wagner 725 wallpaper steamer. This item has a one gallon tank with a built-in heating element and comes with two steam plates. Ooh. One eight by 11 for larger surfaces and one three by six for smaller surfaces. This is also just a smaller steamer part. This item also includes a 12 foot hose, which is meant to allow a 24 foot work area. This method of wallpaper removal is chemical free. There are no detergents or additives needed. The major claim of this company is that the steam will soften the adhesive backing of the wallpaper and make it easier to remove. The wallpaper, the top wallpaper that doesn't have any paint on it, comes off real easy. Just it peels, it's good. When I get to the wallpaper that's got paint on it, you almost have to like just stand there and let it heat up for a while. Let's check back in after some testing and see how it did. All right, guys, real quick before I get into this guy, let's talk about the different ways that people generally take wallpaper off of walls. Um, the, the techniques generally go, and, and this is kind of the order, is your, uh, your wetting the wallpaper or your spray bottle and scoring technique. And a lot of people use a little scoring device to actually put holes in it. We're gonna start with this three gadget roller device that's gonna rip apart all the walls. Don't press too hard. I've never used one of those. I find that the spray bottle technique works just fine without using a scoring device. And on newer wallpapers, that generally works. When you get into the old stuff, that's when you really start having issues with it. And that's when you start looking into some of the other techniques for taking wallpaper off. Um, another good technique, and you always wanna try this first too before you go like the steamer route, is to try and separate the top layer of the wallpaper from the bottom layer of the wallpaper. Because oftentimes you can get that to separate, and then when you spray it, wet it, sponge it, however you wanna get the wall wet, um, it makes it a lot easier. Then that glue layer will peel right off. That generally only works on newer wallpaper. Older wallpaper that it's had time to sit there and cure, uh, this generally doesn't work on. Plus, the paper's not strong enough to stay together when you pull it off. And that's when you come to the third technique, which is what we did in this video, which is the steamer. Now, the steamer almost becomes a necessity if somebody has painted the wallpaper, if there's several layers of wallpaper. Layer one of the wallpaper off already. So there was four layers of wallpaper on this wall. There is paint on top of one of the layers, so we'll get a good idea of how this works in all of the situations. Uh, as soon as there's paint on the wallpaper, it's game over, get yourself a steamer. Almost nothing else is gonna work for you. Let's do this, let's talk about the Wagner Power 725 uh, steamer for a second. Let's go over the claims that they make and whether it's good or not. So let's do this. Uh, claims for this guy is that it is a chemical free wallpaper remover. Just add distilled water. Distilled water. So I tested this without distilled water. First torture test, um, we just tap watered this. I just threw tap water in, ran it and went so, and it worked fine, honestly. Uh, distilled water is apparently better, but whatever. Chemical free, obviously, just throw water in here, good to go. Uh, easy way to remove wallpaper. Let's say this, it's easier than other methods, especially if you have paint on the wallpaper or if you have several layers of wallpaper, it's definitely easier. So we'll confirm that claim. Long run time, here's what I like about this. Wagner claims that this will run for two hours. Um, I noticed that you're a, lot, you're a lot closer to three hours with it. And then when you get close to the low, uh, the water level being low, it just shuts itself off. You'll know right away. You fill it back up and then you got to let it reheat. The one thing I will say about reheating is that it does take a while. I think it takes a really long time to warm up because I've had it plugged in for a minute and I don't feel it warm. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's kind of warm on the bottom. 
So uh, 10, 12, 15 minutes. Give it a second after you plug it in. It's not broken. It just takes a long time to get up the temperature. But once it's there, get going. It lasts for a long time. Lightweight and portable. Obviously, it weighs the same as a bucket of water. It's as light as portable as a bucket of water can be. So um, I don't think that they're overreaching in any of their statements. Let's talk about my experience with it, whether it worked. Uh, as I kind of said earlier, I don't think I could have done what I was doing here without this. It did a really good job. Actually, the one thing that I noticed and one thing that I learned was to go one layer at a time. And as soon as I figured this out, um, the walls went much better. And actually, you can see really well in the time lapse that as soon as I started going top layer, got all the top layer off, went to the next layer, which had paint on it and worked on that. Just doing those in layers worked a lot better. The one thing that I will say is that using this regular wallpaper, I was able to do larger sections. When there was paint on the wallpaper, I was only really able to do the section that the seam was on right away because I had to get that very hot to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you're having trouble, if you've tried all the other techniques and you're thinking about getting a steamer, this thing's like 60 bucks and it's worth the 60 bucks. It's gonna save you way more than $60 in headaches. So I will leave a link in the description for this guy if you decide to buy it. Um, before I finish the video, I do wanna talk about a couple of things because I watched some other YouTubers uh, who were talking about older houses and pulling wallpaper off the wall. And I, I, I found this guy who said this. And you might have wallpaper on your plaster walls. Now, before you go taking that all off, I want you to just do a little test like this, push against the wall. If you feel a lot of movement, think twice about removing the wallpaper because it might be holding your wall together. So taking off the wallpaper means you're committed to resurfacing and doing a demolition. Your best option in that situation might be wallpaper on the existing wallpaper or skim coat the whole wall with drywall mud and create a new surface. I have a huge problem with that. Uh, this guy has like 2.4 million subscribers. Um, and telling people to encapsulate uh, your wallpaper with more wallpaper or to skim coat it is absolutely the wrong way to go. Will it look okay for the time being? Yes. But what's going to happen over time when you do that is that uh, at some point that wallpaper behind your skim coat or behind your pole trowel or behind your wallpaper will start to have problems it will crack and will bubble and like it will start to pop off the drywall and then you have a whole wall worth of problems you're gonna end up replacing the whole wall or doing what i did and working through five layers of wallpaper and paint to try and fix the thing plaster isn't that hard to fix so he was saying that like if you feel the wall a little cushy here i got a clip if you feel the wall a little cushy just cover it up it's probably what's holding the wall together and it, it might be but here's the thing Plaster walls are really easy to fix. I can reattach that. Any DIYer can reattach that for under 50 bucks. It's super easy. So, I mean, what happens with these, um, the little ridges in here, the plaster, become separated from the lap. You can reattach that. Very cheap, inexpensive, any DIYer can do it. DIYers generally aren't going to want to or may not have the skills to rip that wall down and start fresh and covering it's a bad idea. Covering it's what, what happens and you run into issues like I'm running into now. I just thought that was such bad advice. Like so many views, that guy has so many views. And he just, like that's bad advice. Don't cover it up. You can fix plaster. It's not that difficult. It's very easy. It's not a lot of money. Any DIYer can do it. So uh, let me just, I don't know. I had a problem, I had a problem with that guy. Cause he's, he's a big name out there. Don't do that. It's bad. I, I don't agree with him. All right guys, I think that concludes this video. Uh, this steamer is a definite recommend. Uh, I, I like it. It did a great job. This, especially if there's paint or multiple layers, almost a must. I would recommend it. Buy it. I'll leave a link. I appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. Uh, likes and subscriptions, they're free. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but they don't cost anything. And they help me out a bunch. And then I can give you good information as opposed to the guy who's telling you to not do the right work on your plaster walls. Old houses are cool. Fix them. They're awesome. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. I will see you in the next video.